All right, we're here with Brian and her mom, Suri, and Brian is a first time home buyer and just signed. Yes, just signed for her first house. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Brian. So tell me a little bit about the process of being a first time home buyer, what you went through, kind of what your expectations were, the process and expectations were, and what did they actually follow through like? Being a first time home buyer, I, I mean, obviously never done this. So I had no idea how it worked. And so initially I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult and tedious than it actually was for me. Um, I don't know, I just, had the right people taking care of things for me behind the scenes and just made the process super easy for me. Awesome, and that's what we like to hear. How was financing? Tell me about that process. With Peter? Yes. It, again, super easy. Um, he kind of just took care of pretty much everything for me and was readily, readily available whenever I needed him to call, email. I heard back so quick from him, any questions I ever had. and. It was a smooth, smooth process. How was the process of finding a house? Easy. <laughs> um, I guess yeah. I just like would peek online every now and then, whatever. And Rochelle, you would you know send me links to look at houses based off of what I expected in a house that I was purchasing. And yeah, you sent me a link, and I looked at it, and I'm like, let's go look at it tomorrow. And then we, yeah, it was so easy. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even find it online. You would send it to me, so it's awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, let's let's talk to your mom a little bit. So, Sari, having a young adult purchasing their first home under twenty-five, mm -hmm. tell me your thoughts. How do you encourage your your daughter to take that next step into really making an adult decision like this? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I'm so proud of her. Um, she um, has done something that I mean, it's a huge responsibility, um, it's a huge commitment and it's a huge long term commitment and um, I think owning land is a very very important thing and so the fact that she is already grasping these things at such a young age I'm just I'm very proud of her and um, I'm just looking forward to um, getting in there and doing some painting and making it yours. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. So as a parent, how do we uh, how do we support our children in helping them make that step? Because we do know that it is a big step. It is a big commitment. Mm -hmm. And how do we how do we encourage a uh, under 25 year old or even under 30 year old to make that instead of just renting? You know, we started having conversations with Brianne right when she graduated from high school. And we, um, I mean, I think we started talking about, hey, here's the possibility. Like, if you stay at home for a little bit mm -hmm. and you save the amount of money you would put in rent, um, you have that much money in an account so you can buy a house. And so it's, you know, you know, five years ago, six years ago, we started talking to you about that. So she always had that in her mind that eventually she was going to do this. Um, and, you know, we just kept telling her how doable this is. And um, I don't know, I think... You were just kind of always a, you know. They, they talked a lot with me about the, the pros of owning and not renting. And the pros and cons and the pros of owning are so much higher than the pros of, there's so many cons to renting that you don't really think about. So I always knew that the minute I was able to um, financially and when I was mentally ready to buy, I mean, that was always the plan, I knew very young mm -hmm. that I didn't want to rent. <laughs> she was very good at creating a long-term goal within her head and working toward that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Do you have any any tips or strategies for somebody in your position, young, that uh, might be thinking about, should I buy, should I rent? Do you have any encouragement, thought process? I mean, I don't know, tips? No, I don't know. Just trust, I guess, trust the people around you that can help you through the process, I guess. Do you have to have a bunch of money? No, no. Okay. No. Because there's programs out there that will help you purchase a house. Yeah. The bottom line is you just need to find that team to help you get from point A, yeah. which is renting, to point B, to home ownership. Yeah, and help lean you. on your closest people. Mm -hmm. Help you. would be the biggest tip in moving through this process. So. And you need to have a little bit of credit history. So mm -hmm. we did find that out. Um, it was very important to um, Brianne that she not have debt. But with having no debt, 
there's not a lot of credit history out there. So we, you know, had to learn, you know, that piece. How do we get her some credit history? So that's a big thing that I would recommend that, you, you know, um, younger people look at. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we really ran into any other real hiccups, but it was, that was the biggest one. So. Yeah. Yeah. That I just, not and that it, I, not that I, it out. Yeah. yeah, not even that I had bad credit. I just had a lack of credit. Mm -hmm. Right. So. And obviously being young, you, right. that's, that's typical. Right. Yeah. Because you're not out buying new vehicles or. But that, yeah, I, that was the only thing on my credit report was that I bought and paid off a car. There you go. It was probably all I had. And um, student loans, paying those off. Everything, anything else, yeah, nothing. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Any final closing tips, thoughts, final remarks? Buy a house from Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Brianna. Thank I'm you. proud of you. Thank and uh, mm -hmm. and congratulations once again. A Rochelle Raceler. Call 218-979-1722 at Century 21 FM Realty today for a partnership built on trust and excellence.